Well, Aaron, we're here at Strathcairn Hospice, one of the club's main charity partner. Today, handing over some season tickets, meeting some of the daycare patients. Um, it's always it's kind of a strange way to say, but it's a nice place to come uh, and good for you to meet these people. And, and obviously, you hear the noise and they're brightening up their day a little bit. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the people were uh, delighted to, to see us, and it's a fantastic place and great work that the people are doing. Uh, <laughs> a lot of them were saying that this is a kind of highlight of their week and uh, just in for a wee chat and some of them get their hair cut, nails done, things like that. It's fantastic, so it is. Good as a football club, I suppose, that we're able to make that difference to these people, um, give them the season, let them come along to games and, and make them kind of feel part of the kind of wider Falkirk football club community. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the least we can do, give a wee bit back to the community, if you like, and to come and see the atmosphere that in there, the place is buzzing, all the, the uh, elderly ladies and gentlemen are delighted to see us all buzzing to get pictures taken and that, and it doesn't take a lot for us to take a wee bit out of our day to come and put it back to them, and it's fantastic. Well, Claire, thank you for joining us on Falkirk TV. Um, you're here today with Adam Muirhead, David Mitchell and Mark Kerr, meeting some of the daycare patients and as I've just seen Aaron, it's, it's nice for the club to get a chance to kind of brighten these people's day but for you, from the hospice's point of view, it must be good that you feel the energy and the, the volume just lifting this room as we walk in. Yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely fantastic and you know, it's something different for the patients but also it's something that they're then, you know, so excited to go home and tell their families about as well. So, I mean, you saw earlier that, you know, more staff members were coming down because they could, they could hear the noise um, and everything increase. So, no, it's, it's great that, that they're willing to do that and support us in that way. So, thank you. The football club and Strathcairn's relationship has kind of grown from year to year, strength to strength. Um, it's vital, though, that the public are aware that this office does need funds on a daily basis to keep going and I suppose at the club we're just more than happy to try and assist that but if there's somebody sitting at home could you just kind of elaborate a little bit on what's going on in here today with the daycare patients and the wider role and aims of the, the hospice? Yeah absolutely um, well I think what you touched on that you know there we've got a whole range of services that perhaps people aren't always aware of um, I mean the hospice itself has to raise just over £11,000 a day to keep our services running um, and that's because you know we have so many services we're much more than just the hospice building um, um, but within the hospice itself, we've got our inpatient unit um, with 24 beds. We're on daycare service, which is um, obviously where, where the players have visited today. And there we see about 20 people Monday through Friday who come, um, you know, they'll come the same day every week. So if you come on a Monday, you come every Monday. And that's great because it's a really social thing for, you know, the patients to come, they get to know people. Um, you know, they're all going through perhaps similar, um, you know, situations. So they can be a bit of a support team each other um, but also they're supported by the wider hospice team as well um, which is brilliant um, and yeah so that's kind of what goes on in the building but also out in the community we've got nursing teams um, that are able to go out and provide support to people in their homes and we've also got a hospice at home team that can actually go and provide end of life care um, if people wish to pass away at home. Um, so yeah, there's there's a whole load of services um, that, that I think a lot of people don't know about. So it's it's great working with um, you know Falkirk Football Club to kind of help raise awareness of everything that, that we've got here. Uh, so our partnership so far has just been brilliant from from our point of view certainly. In your hands just now, you've got some season tickets that we handed over. Um, so tell me just off camera about a, a gentleman that one of these seasons is going to anyway but they will make a difference in terms of getting people out of the house and getting them into the community again just even going to enjoy an afternoon out at the football they absolutely will i mean for a lot of people um that, that are ill that can be it can be quite isolating um and it can, you know a lot of um, cases it can reduce their ability to go out and about and, and do things that they would have done before like go to the football um we do have one gentleman that, that i'd mentioned um you know off camera that's a big football fan um, and we know he's going to be delighted when he receives one of these and he'll be supported to go to the matches through um you know our volunteers they'll be able to go in and drive them there and, and take them for the day which will just be great and again makes such a difference to, to his life because um, otherwise he wouldn't be able to get out and about and do these things. So, thank you. No at all. Well, Claire, thank you very much for having us here at the hospice this afternoon and for your time to speak to us and um, we wish all the patients here the, the very, very best and we look forward to coming back later on in the season. Yeah, brilliant, thank you so much. No bother.